Hey everybody, quick video on how to install Google Assistant Relay on a computer. Um, if you want to run 24 hours a day, I recommend find a computer that's on 24 hours a day. I have a system dedicated for my home security camera, so it runs 24 hours a day. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this basically post, which I'll put a link in the video. Uh, it's a how-to video of all this, basically said so. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do, per instructions, we need to install Node.js. Now, just uh, let me close this out. So, just uh, basically Google Node.js, click on their website, nodejs.org. Use the one that says recommended. This number might change based on when you're doing this. It'll probably be a higher version. So, click on it, uh, run. All right, so there we go. It goes like this. Just click next, I accept, next. All right, you could change this directory or leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Basically, leave all this the same. Next. Install. Yes. Uh, just turn this volume down. That was way too loud. That's doing this thing. And it's done finish now if you want to verify it cmd we're good so just type in cmd note dash v if it's installed is correct it should tell you the version which you can see it matches this over here 8.113 so that's done so Let's go back to the post. Now it says a copy of Assistant Relay, which is the link. And I'll post this. If you click on this, it brings you over here. Uh, this repo. Click on clone or download. Download zip. I just click on open. Close that. Put this somewhere, anywhere you want. I'm just put it on my desktop. Put it over here. Close this. Now, on here, there's instructions on how to do it, but I'm going to walk you through it. So now, download and copy the repository. Use npm install. So, what you want to do is you want to go in this directory. So, I usually just copy that. Oops. Make sure I copy cd this directory directory you will see all this stuff here now we just need to type npm install Oops, sorry for the mouse click enter now this is going to do its thing over here Okay, when it's done installing, it should look something like this. Added packages, blah, blah, blah. So let's just leave this over here. Let's not run anything yet from here. And let's go back to here. Now it says, this is the important part. Now it says, Assistant Relay requires you to download an OTA, blah, blah, blah. Click on this link. This was a little difficult part, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry guys, I just had to open a different browser for this. So anyways, when you click on that link, it will bring you here. So it says open action cancel. Let's open the console. Maybe you should yours should look something like this, empty, add import project. I don't know, name this whatever you want. Put click smart home. Create project. Now let's see what it says here. Give it a minute till it's done creating it. All right, once it's done creating, this is where it'll be. Scroll down, device registration, click on this, and register model. Mm, 
my awesome you can name this I don't know, again from group I don't know. let's just call it smart doesn't matter um, fake doesn't matter you can put anything you want there I just leave this on auto register model okay now it says here enable API once you're done with that just click on enable API from the previous page no yes accept okay if you've collected a, if you've selected a project you click on select the project and there's the one that we just created over here it should be right here and select that Go back, enable, create, okay, that's it. Come back over here, click on download credentials.json file, okay. Uh, you're going to need this, so store this somewhere important. Anyway, so once you're done with that, let me minimize this that okay I already have mine over here so you want to do is you want to drag and drop it into the same folder that we just uh, the system relay master that we downloaded drag and drop it in here it's called credentials.json let's remember that okay now let's come back over here now we're gonna have to follow the rest of the installations now we need to type npm run build config now make sure you do this step putting your credentials that you downloaded from the previous I showed you into the same folder before you do this so now you're gonna click on add user name big you put your name now it says the file name since this is what I was talking about telling you what's the name of the file it needs to be in the same folder whatever you named it or credentials.json enter okay okay now it's done so now we just need to type in npm run start now it's gonna auto load this select the user that you make sure you use the same user email that you use to set it up you click on allow it's gonna give you this number here copy right click or paste it for you press enter As you heard, that said system relay is now set up and running for Vic. That means this is already it's running and it's completely working. Now, if you wanted to set up, for example, WebCore from WebCore to broadcast, for example, let's say a window is open or a light is on to tell you that XYZ light is on. Now, let me show you. Let me show you that real quick. Actually, my WebCore is here. Let me go from the beginning. So. Go to WebCore, new piston, create a blank piston, name it whatever you want. Uh, let's just, just let me test, whatever. Name it whatever you want. Create. Okay, so here it gets interesting. So now, say you want to do it, if you turn on a light, it announces it. Okay, so add if condition physical device. So let's say which one? Um, work light. Work light. Okay. Switch. Physical interaction. Changes. Changes to on. Add. So if work light switch physically changes to on, then 
click here, click action, location. Okay. Now here's the interesting part. This is what you do. You click on do, type in web, make a web request. Here's your part. You have to change this to post, not get. Here you have to type in uh, this this URL. One second, let me find it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Here's what I want to show you. Where is my remote desktop? If you look over here, depending on whatever you're running this on, it should be on your desktop. Let's show your IP address and a port number. Okay, remember that. So here it is. So you type in HTTP, blah blah. IP address, port number, backslash, custom broadcast, and then text. Now here you put whatever you want. Uh, let's say we want Google to say, uh, hey, work light is on. That's it. Okay. Just click on add, and you will see this. Now let's save it. And let's test it. Let me turn on my work light. Where is my button for it? Sorry, one second. Large light, work light. Here we go. Let's see if it will do it. I oh, hope you guys heard that. And that's it. As you can see, that worked. Um, if you have any questions, just put a comment. I'll try to help you out. Thank you.